Welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the filter gallery, and that can be found under the title filter up in your menu. And we're just going to open up and take a look at the filter gallery. We'll look at some of the other things you can do in another tutorial, but we'll concentrate this time on this one. So the filter gallery will open up your picture and display it in this window here. Uh, and it'll apply whatever filter was on last, so that's okay. We can change that. Now the first thing we should do is get it so we can see the whole picture. So down here on the bottom you have a little plus minus and a percentage here where you can reduce the size. So I can go down to 25% or I can just use the plus minus sign to go up and down. So get it to where you can see the whole a picture which was uh, to your advantage and you can also make this bigger so the space gets bigger and then of course we can have a bigger view of the picture. So the way it works is there's a whole bunch of different filters that you can apply to your picture one at a time and you can open and close the menu here so under texture there's six filters under stylized there's one and this is Adobe CS6 so it has most of the latest filters and then you just choose the one you want and it will apply it to your picture. So the other thing that you can do is you can change the way the filter looks. So if I choose graphic pen, I have a few options here, usually in the form of sliders, but also occasionally a drop down menu where I can drag it to change the look of the filter being applied. So light and dark balance can be changed and the stroke length can be changed and then you can choose a direction. Once you're satisfied with what you have done you can then click OK and it will apply the filter. If you don't like the look of it after playing around of course you can just go to a different one and again sliders to adjust. Usually the strength of the filter or the color or the brightness and darkness of the filter. Okay, so I can do an extreme change to it, like I'm looking through a very foggy window with water on it, or just a real subtle change to it, just by dragging up and down the slider. And each filter has its own different sliders. Now once I apply it, I can click OK, and it will apply the filter, and then I can go back and I can go back into my filter gallery. I can again decrease the size and choose a different filter to apply over top of that. So you can apply more than one filter to your document. It's taking a little bit of time, it's processing it and then it will apply the filter and then of course I can adjust them as I see fit. The other way you can choose from your filters is through this drop down list here. So I've got all the different filters in a drop down list here as opposed to being them categorized here. But I usually go here because you can see what the filters look like. Okay, so that is the filter gallery. There's a whole bunch there. It's just a matter of playing around with them, seeing what they do, seeing whether or not you like it, and whether it fits what it is you're trying to do to the picture. Okay, and again, once you're happy with it, once you're done, you click OK. And it will keep whatever you've done to that filter. So that is the filter gallery. Um, you can also find different filters in this list here. There's a few ones that aren't, aren't in the filter gallery. Uh, much the, some of the blur ones and so on and those are basically if you want uh, to pixelate it and say do a mosaic you just basically click on it it will open it up in a window like this you've got a slider here where you can adjust what it is you do and you've got a preview button here that allows you to see it in the window here and of course your zoom tool to see the picture there as well so if you uh, wanted to add another filter in that's not in the filter gallery, then you can just go to this list here and choose one of them there. So they're all slightly different, of course, and they are all uh, 
available to put on your pitcher. So that, those are filters. Uh, we'll take a look at a couple more that are a little bit, little bit more detailed in the next tutorial.